hi, this is uh, Mark Rowe, Director of Demo for Andrew Womack Ministries. Many of you have seen our videos and I'm here today with our dear friend Julie Mapitano or Mawosi. And Julie is from uh, the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. Uh, Julie has uh, her own ministry. She's a, a graduate of Caris, Colorado, I think 2010. And Julie does a variety of things, but she is the founder of Redeeming Love Ministry in Congo, actually based in her home village of Luinja. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. And I believe that's like a couple of hours south of Bukavu that's in true. eastern Congo. I haven't had the pleasure of going there yet. We tried to get in there ye uh, some years ago. How long ago was it? That's about 2016. 2016, we had... Uh, visas or uh, applications put in and for whatever reason we couldn't get into Congo with my dear friend Steve Bartlett but uh, at that time our students uh, graduating in the second year wanted to buy a uh, audio video pack that's what this is here sat here this is a complete audio video presentation system this is the um, uh, EX 500. What that means is, it's the Vista 500. It means that it's capable of, of showing HD video and sound to up to 500 plus people. Wow. And everything is in here. Um, it's solar powered. The complete pack. So this is the pack. Uh, this is the frame for the screen, which is a 92 inch HD screen. And this is the actual screen material itself. But everything else is in here and today uh, what we want to do is is present this pack this audio video system to Julie um, for work in her village and in her area she she does a phenomenal job I mean can you just tell me a little bit about what you're doing through Redeeming Love in Lewinja um, we helping the uh, orphans right. to be able to go to school uh -huh. and also we come in uniting families like the widows and the orphan and street kids back to family wow. and so having this like, I feel like I'm on Christmas morning just jumping from up downstairs and your father or mother have made a huge surprise gift for you this is really how I feel like in my heart I'm so super grateful I'll be going to Congo and I can't wait. And when are you going to Congo? Next week. Next week? Yes. And you're going back to the village, to Luinja? Yes. Now, this is going to help with the discipleship program because loaded onto this system, we have the Jesus movie and we have it in three languages. So we have it in French, Congolese French, Swahili and English. And there are other things like the Jesus movie for children and Bible applications. So this is a real blessing. We've used this in, uh, around the world. You see, before we can disciple people with our discipleship program, which we also have in those three languages, we need to get people saved, yes. don't we? Yes. <laughs> We've got to preach the gospel. This is a great tool. Somebody can jump on the back of a motorbike or even walk through the bush, through the rainforest, whatever, because uh, DRC and where Julie comes from is, is equatorial. It's right on the equator. But they can go with this anywhere. And there's a big solar panel in the back of here, which you can hang in a tree and charge up the battery. I'll just open this up. But this was from the class of 2016 here at Carrots. They clubbed together and they bought this. So here you have everything. You have your projector, your big battery that powers everything, your microphone and cables. Uh, you've got your little sound mixer down here. This is your sound cone, which basically your speaker hangs in the tree. In here you've got all the cables and connectors that you could possibly want. And in here are the instructions and a little LED light, uh, because it's really difficult when you're working in the dark in the bush, believe me, I've done it. But this little LED light, it's like they're using orchestra pits so that the players can see the music and what they're doing. LED, very low power, doesn't take much power at all. So this is the complete kit and of course your frame and as I said your solar panel in the back. It's packed up in, it's backed by canvas but I mean it opens up to be like a yard square. It's a 30 watt solar panel to charge this battery and of course if you have mains power you can use that. So this is a great piece of kit. 
So this, uh, Julie, we give you this from Andrew, and it's Andrew and his heart for, for your ministry, uh, that we want to present this to you. I know you're going to take with you next week. So this is with love from Andrew Womack Ministries and Caris Bible College to you. Thank you so <laughs> you're welcome. In addition, we've got some little SD cards. This is a neat little thing from the same organization. And let's just give a big shout out to Renew Outreach or Renew World Outreach. These guys specialize in making tools for missionaries to use in remote places. And some of what they produce is amazing. We've covered some of this on our website, as you know. But these little SD cards can go into people's phones and they can copy the material that's on here. On here we have the same material that's on this projector. We have the Jesus movie in three languages, Bible applications, the story of Jesus for children, a whole bunch of stuff. And all they've got to do is stick it in their phone, copy it and pass it on to somebody else. This can be used thousands of times wow. out in the bush. And we're also going to produce some little SD cards similar with our discipleship evangelism program in three, the same three languages, French, Swahili, and English. Thank you. So, awesome. Now, just as an update, we sent three of Julie's people, her team, back in Luinja, in Congo, across the border into Uganda a few months ago, and we had them trained by Trevor Taichon of Connect Africa. And again, huge shout out to Trevor and his wife. Yes. They have a hub just outside of Kampala in Uganda where they accommodate people for up to a month and teach and train them in so many sustainable living technologies. And we had your guys trained in how to make bricks out of the dirt, yes. how to build composting toilet blocks, what we call eco-sand toilets, for the whole village. Mm -hmm. And then water filters. These are the basics, sanitation, fresh water, shelter. But your guys learned how to make these bricks. Yes. They went ahead and made how many recently? They made over 3,000. 3,000 bricks? Yes. Now, for every 120 bricks, or 100 bricks roughly, you need a bag of cement. Yes. So that's about 30 bags of cement. Yes. So that's not cheap, is it? It's not cheap. But they did it themselves. Now, we've provided some resources since. Yes. We provided a brick mold, big press. Yes. We provided a mold for making the water filters. And these are permanent lifetime water filters. Mm -hmm. These guys were trained how to do that, weren't they? Yes, they did. Did it empower them? Oh, very much. They're very excited. Right. And, and every day, like, they have, like, a new revelation. This is what we can do. So, it like, you change their life, not just for these three guys. Right. But the 14 kids who were training with them now. So, you have 14 kids training 14 with them? 14 with them. We have kids who wow. train with them. For this. And they're also excited about it making bricks in the mold, so it's really exciting. Whoa, this brings a tear to my eye, but this is amazing because basically it's giving people the knowledge, it's equipping them, it's empowering them to go and transform their communities. And I've found that when you do this in the bush, people are very... In Africa, there's a greater sense of community than there is in the West. You know, I think the Africans have a phrase, it says, it takes a we to make a me. Yes. I'm only empowered by the rest of the group, yeah? Mm -hmm. And so these guys will share what they have. Because many of these people are in survival mode. We don't realize how blessed we are. But at the end of the day, these guys have taken this equipment, have taken this knowledge. They made 3,000 bricks. That was a few weeks ago. I just received video footage from Julie showing that they've completed their first eco-sand toilet block. That means that they have separate stalls. They recycle the waste, they separate the solid from the liquid waste, they can recycle that and enrich the land around them. Mm -hmm. Then they also have a shower cubicle where they can harvest the rainwater and, and use that to take showers. Mm -hmm. This can transform the community and the health of that community. Very nice. But these guys have just been so empowered, they're flying with it. I'm just, and you should see the quality of what they've built using these big interlocking bricks. This is how we build a community and transform it. Is that right? Yes. I just want to say thank you, thank you, Mary Tam to Mr. Mark and his hard working. Sometimes we don't see him out there when we go to Bango College because he's just behind scene. But he has done amazing things for me and for the people in the Congo. And 
of course, I can't just forget to say thank you so much, Mr. Andrew, Amen. for the vision, for the love you have for many of us, because all this was not possible if you were not there. So That's I'm right. And grateful. you know, at the beginning of this year, I got a phone call from Andrew saying, please help Julie. Uh, and that was basically the simple instruction, yeah. uh, help Julie uh, to achieve this community centre that she wants to build for the whole village. How many orphans do you look after? Now we just added in, we're going to help 350. 350. And 180 households. And 180 households and widows that you encourage and help. Yes. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. So, Andrew's heart was like, help Julie. And so it was kind of down to us as to how we do that. But we thought first we must empower people and give them the knowledge. Uh, rather than giving people a handout, let's give them a hand up. Andrew has very kindly put some resources into this. Now they've had the training and they are flying. This is transforming the community. So thank you to Andrew. Thank you to the partners without whom this is not possible. But thank the Lord for their generosity and the fact that we're able to see transformation on the ground and i'm sure when julie comes back she'll have lots of exciting things to report so, Very nice, so bless you julie thank you, thank have you. a great trip thank you, sir. all right